Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I want to share with you a little utility I stumbled upon, and I've been playing with it for the last little while, and it's actually quite helpful. So a couple of things. Um, I'm more of a command line batch file guy, so I'm always looking for utilities that I could run from a batch file or from the command line uh, for many reasons. I won't get into that right now. But I found this one uh, called Cry Ping from this uh, website, and it may be a little hard on the eyes, so let me just paste it in a notepad for you. So it's at uh, crier.co.uk, and then from there you can just find it or just go straight to downloads cryping. If you just um, Google cryping, you'll find it. I'll also put this URL um, in with the um, YouTube video at the bottom, so you can just click on the link if you'd like. So here we go. So what does it do? It's uh, just like a ping tool, uh, but what it can do is test TCP port numbers uh, or application-specific stuff which I want to briefly show you. I'm not going through every single setting. I'm just going to show you what I used it for. But I'm also going to back it up with some Wireshark trace files. So every time we do something, I'm going to capture it with Wireshark just to prove and disprove if that's what it really does. I was a little skeptical at first. So let's move on. Here's Wireshark. I'm going to capture from my uh, Ethernet card, and I'm just going to hit Start. And I'm capturing absolutely everything coming out of my computer. Um, and then I'll show you some filtering tips and tricks that we can use to validate what we're doing. So the first thing I want to do is just a simple, um, the simple command cry ping and then the IP address of something. And there we go. And if you're lucky enough and you don't have a whole lot of noise in the background, you'll see the, the ICMP packets um, come up. And we know there it is, 1044.10.1 is 1044.10.1. And you can see it's just a simple ping packet. Uh, it's exactly what it said it was going to do, so that was easy. Done. The second one um, is more of an application thing. And what we're going to do is use this option dash HTTP, and we're going to try to hit this box as well. Um, you know what? The server's not up on there anymore, so let's go to the techfirm.com. There we go. So off you go, and now it may get a little harder on the eyes to figure out what's going on where. So here's a little tip. I'm just going to do a display filter on HTTP. And you can see all there's all the stupid SSDP stuff in the background. So you can ignore all that. Uh, and this is obviously from the local router. So oh, there's something that's not from the local router to an internet IP, which is good. And then there's this head command, which is what CryPing uses. And it's just more of a to get the status of the page, not get the whole page. Uh, so programming wise this is a lot cleaner and nicer which is good to see uh, if I want to see the entire conversation that was used to do this I would just simply right click conversation filter TCP and there we can see our sin sin ack and then we see our head and then that's it close the port nice and neat so there's no resets being sent it's a very very proper setup and tear down of the conversation which is what I wanted to see and that's the HTTP command. Uh, the next application command is going to be the SMTP, which is what we use for our mail protocols. So again, and there it goes, telling me the service is ready, it's up and running. And then from here, I'll just clear my filter and I can just type SMTP just to see what it's doing. And I can see the banner coming back from Google. Again, if I wanna see the entire conversation, right click, conversation filter, TCP. And I can see my SynSynAC. There's the banner coming from Google, and then the very politely closed. That's that's what I want to see. I, I like again. I don't want to see a lot of resets. I don't want to see it just kind of hang and leave the connection open, half open. That's it's not polite. It's not nice. Um, so now we're going to move on to the uh, other email command, pop. I mean protocol, which is pop. And here we go. We're going to hit uh, Gmail with pop. And I'm doing this on purpose because I want to show you. Uh, what works and doesn't work. Now, because Google uh, wants POP to be authenticated um, and it's using a different port number, this is all going to fail. So this is important to understand is that um, these commands only work with POP servers that support it. Okay, that's, that's the key to this. So in this case, I intentionally chose popgmail.com using POP protocol knowing this is not going to work. So don't fall into that trap pick a mail server that you know will work. Uh, to break out of it, just control C twice and uh, you'll break out of it. I'm going to skip that then. I'll move on. 
Uh, in this case, what happens if you want to do something that's not SMTP, POP, or HTTP, and you want to do something totally different, a port number uh, such as 21 for FTP, then we just do dash P for port number. Uh, dash D is a new little switch I just threw on the end of it. What that's going to do for us is actually telling us the date and time. Because sometimes in your batch file, you're going to take this and direct it to a text file. And you want to be able to have that time in there as well. Uh, the other cool little feature or switch or option would be to do a dash R3. And that's going to put a pause in between each one so you don't send them as often. So you can send them every three seconds apart as opposed to every one second apart. See the interval changes, which is, which is again very cool. And then the last one for the people that actually care about what it's doing in the background is you can simply put a dash V at the end of the HTTP command or option. And that actually shows me the reply that actually came back in case you need that type of information for diagnostics as well. So that's a pretty simple little tool. Uh, it seems to work just fine. It's written very nicely and uh, it's free. The URL will be in the YouTube uh, link and hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.